this week I did my second 5k of the year. It is February. Well, I like, I never specified that it had to be a 5k. The sponsors, at least according to the back of the shirt, were an athletic club, a beer company, um, an events center, and a pet supply store. So I don't think it was really a charity. I am finding it really hard to actually find charity runs. Um, I, I really wish I could just go into any kind of search bar and put in the month, the year, close to the location, maybe the zip code or whatever, and then like charity run and be given a list of all of the charity runs in the area has not happened. I haven't been able to, to do that. And it's, uh, frustrating to me. Um, I was given this in one of the packets and it lists off all of the ones that they have for this year, ending uh, starting with the Polar Bear Run and Plunge and ending with the Sweaty Sweater Race, which is in December. Uh, I don't want to follow this. I don't want to just go after um, all of the ones that are on here, mostly because some of them look boring. I mean, most runs are, but like... I also want to do it for a cause. I became aware of this one after the the polar bear run, but I didn't sign up for it until 7th or 8th of February because I wanted to to find a good charity uh, run event and um, couldn't find one. This one was called Catch Me If You Can. This one was another 5k. Actually, it was a 5k or a 10k. You could um, sign up for either if you wanted. Uh, obviously, I did a 5k. Um, but the, I want to say the gimmick for it is that it was day after Valentine's Day. It was February 15th of this year. And um, that was kind of the theme of it. Um, their their gimmick was um, they were going to start the 10K at 9 o'clock, I believe. They started at 9 o'clock with the girl. Female identifying people were starting at 9 o'clock. And then the male identifying people started their 10K at... 905. You you can see where the catch me if you can bit is coming in. Then the 5k started next with the female identifying people um, starting at 908 or something like that. And then the male identifying people started at like 911 or something like that. Um, it was very uh, kitschy, very I guess you could say interesting. Um, they were handing out these stickers that I got a couple of pictures of of some of them. I didn't get all of them. I only grabbed one of them. But um, there, there are stickers that you could attach to like your back or your front or whatever that um, there is a bright red one that says taken. And a green one that says single. And then a yellow one that said, it's complicated. <laughs> it's funny, but at the same time, it's a little weird. Uh, I was talking to my sister about this, and I had told her this, and she's just like, so if someone's wearing one of the green ones that says single on it, you can just like go up to them and be like, you're my valentine. <laughs> um, this was over the phone. She didn't make these face shapes. I think that's the point of it, is that you could use it as a, hey, you're single, I'm single, let's talk, grab a beer, I don't know. Um, I'm sure there was a reason for it other than being chitsy. When I signed up, I wasn't told what my race number would be, so when I went to packet pickup, um, I got it. And I found it hilarious that my race number was 1,111. So that was cool. The shirt, if you remember 
last month the shirt I got was white and it was long sleeve and it was like an athletic shirt but it was very thin this month's shirt is better only in that it's black instead of white this is the February shirt it's kind of boring actually if you ask me it's not bad after the race which I did better than the January race on when I was running with Kat because we both were feeling very under the weather I was having massive neck pain for like the week beforehand and she was just getting over being sick so we were both kind of meh that race we did terribly <laughs> in my opinion we did it in like Forty-seven and a half minutes. All things considered, much, much better. I, I didn't train for it at all, mostly because I had a week's notice and it has been snowing a lot here recently and I just don't want to go to the gym after work, you know? I did it in 40 minutes and 50 seconds. which is a great comparison. Um, Math-wise, that is about a 13-minute mile, which could be a lot better. Um, uh, one of my goals this year is to be able to do a 10-minute mile. Another one of my goals is to be able to run a mile solid without stopping, without having to stop and wheeze my way through the next quarter mile. <laughs> After the run, I just went to my car. There wasn't anything else to really do. After uh, the run, um, I called my friend Kat and we went and we decided to have brunch. We found a place called Snooze. Oh, I got there before Kat did and I saw so many people outside. Um, so many people without food outside. So I'm like, oh, this is going to be great. I went up to the desk and I was like, hey, so uh, how long's the wait? It's just like about 45 minutes to an hour. And I'm like, okay. Immediately next door to Snooze is a place called Big Al's Burgers and Dogs. Kat pointed it out when she got there. It was empty. Completely empty. We were the first ones in there. And I was surprised that it was even open because it was like 10.30 in the morning. So we got a couple burgers. Uh, I got these things called buffalo fries, which are amazing. Cat needed caffeine. I was like, hey, Ren works around here. Why don't we just go see her? And she's like, oh, that's a great idea. I did that we were gonna go see Ren. We got coffee there and then we walked around a little bit. We got there and she was working, thankfully. Um, and we had this, oh, what was it called? Stout gingerbread. It was so good. So we had that, uh, we were able to distract her from work for a little bit. Her boss said it was okay for her to come out and talk to us when it was not busy. So we talked for a bit <clears throat> and then we left and we, we walked around a bit. There was a, a tiny little shop. Um, I got this necklace, which is so pretty and beautiful and it was on sale. So I love it. <laughs> and then we left and we decided that we were gonna meet up later uh, last night and hang out and then of course plans fell through so we didn't I ended up doing a couple of errands instead but that was the run for you I feel bad saying this but at the same time not really because I feel like running itself is boring unless you're listening to something interesting or you're running with a friend or something it was boring it was so so boring. Unless I find some better way to do it, I don't know how uh, likely it will be for me to keep up these next 10 months because uh, so boring. Like I'll still do it, I just won't be happy to do it. <laughs> like the last couple of ones I've been super excited. I have already started looking at March runs. There is one that's in Westminster that's kind of got my eye. Like I don't always want to do runs that are uh, gimmicky, 
but I do want to do ones that are for charities and I'm having a really hard time finding ones for charities or if I find a run I'm like this looks great this is awesome this is in a workable distance from where I live it's not too expensive like but it's for charity so whatever um but I can't find the charity that they're supposed to be like representing and it's so frustrating I just want to do charity runs and I know that I can go ahead and do a run and then donate to charity but I'm on a budget <laughs> and I would like to like put it into both I would like to raise awareness and also give my money to charity because otherwise I'll be like oh yeah I'm doing this St. Patrick's Day run it's gonna be great not related at all. Have you heard about this charity? I don't know. Just, it's, it's better if you're like, oh, I'm doing this run that is kind of gimmicky, but whatever. It's to raise money for this charity that, oh, it's a woman's shelter. That's awesome. You know, I'm getting very annoyed. That's it for this week. Uh, or I guess this time. I know it's been a couple of weeks since I've posted a video. Uh, I've been busy and out of ideas. I will be back at some point, probably, because um, like I said, I do enjoy making these videos. I guess I'll see you guys later. Have a great day.